like the first thing that got me excited about this book was the dedication that Nassim has done for the book, right? And this is the dedication, and this is the notes that I took. It's not sort of copied down uh, because I didn't want to track down the Twitter info that Nassim had given regarding this dedication, right? But basically the de dedication is this. Uh, he's dedicated the, the book to two men of courage. The first one is Ron Paul, and he calls him a Roman among Greeks, okay? And I had to look that up, and I'm going to explain to you what Roman among Greeks is, okay? And the other person that he's dedicated this to is Ralph Nader. And he references, he, he calls him a Greco-Phoenician saint, right? And I, I don't know what Gecko, and I don't know what Gecko-Phoenician is. I tried looking it up, and I couldn't make heads or tails out of it. So I'm going to look this up more later okay but for those of you who don't know who ralph nader is ralph nader basically is a person that really uh, instigated consumer protection right took corporations governments to court helped bring about legislation that has prevented I don't know how many millions, tens of millions of deaths, injuries, and has held, you know, has changed the law to hold corporations accountable for their crimes or for their transgressions. And this was basically brought up in the United States and the model has been, has rolled out in many other countries as well, right? Okay. Here's what Nassim has to say regarding Ralph Nader. Okay, and I'm going to read uh, just a paragraph up here, and then I'm going to read the footnote, right? And uh, he's referring to common law, and he was getting into common law and stuff like this. And just to let you know, the first 50 pages of this, 47 pages of this, are basically introduction to this book, Skin in the Game. And they basically sort of recap some of the information, main information from the previous four books, okay? But here's what he has to say. Um, oh, cool, Adolf. I'm pretty sure greco philistian means uh, from both uh, Greece and Phoenicia. Phoenicia, Phoenicia. I need to look up Greco. Is that what it means? So greco Phoenicia. Uh, oops, what did you say? Uh, saint, right? And saint, uh, you can get more regarding saint. And I'll, actually, I'll show you a table after we read this little paragraph. Thank you very much, Adolf. Uh, I gotta look at what, hold on a second, I'm gonna look this up while we're at it. That way I'm filling up my own gaps at the same time. Phoenicia was a uh, Thalosocratic ancient Semitic civilization that originated in Eastern Mediterranean. Oh, that's because Ralph Nader, I believe he's Lebanese. Nader, let me see what uh, Ralph Nader, let's see what his origin is. Thank you very much for that, Alf. I think this is born Connecticut, is he? Or Nassim is Lebanese. No, so is. Uh, here we go. Here's Ralph Nader. Ralph Nader was born in Winstead, Connecticut to Nathra and Rosa Nader, both of whom were immigrants from Lebanon. Okay, so that could be the Greco uh, Phoenician, so the Semitic race from that area. So let me read you this. Okay. Uh, if a big I want to read the, uh, the two paragraphs leading up to uh, Nader's footnote, right? If a big corporation polluters, uh, if a big corporation pollutes your neighborhood, you can get together with your neighbor and sue the hell out of it. Some greedy lawyer will have the proper uh, paperwork ready. The enemies of the corporations will be glad to help. And the potential cost of settlement would be enough of a deterrent for the corporation to behave, right? And this is sort of common law, I believe it's tort law or whatever it is, but common law were punitive damages and stuff like this, right? 
uh, this doesn't mean one should never regulate at all okay some somatic uh, systemic um, effects may require regulation say hidden tail risks of environmental ruin that show up too late if you can't effectively sue regulate right and Nassi is not pro regulation at all right uh, Ralph Nader prefers more regulation than Nassim and at the end of that sentence right if you can't effectively sue regulate and he's got a little asterisk on there is taking us to a footnote right so I'm going to read the footnote to you the Ralph Nader to whom I dedicate this book is the Ralph Nader who helped establish the legal mechanism to protect consumers and citizens from pred predator predators less so the ralph nader who occasionally makes some <laughs> calls to regulate right so that's the dedication to ralph nader oh yeah and when he refers to him so now thanks to adolf's uh mentioning what it means greco greco boop, boop, greco phoenician saint okay so greek greco meaning greek phoenician meaning people of that region so ralph nader is from lebanon Lebanese Greek Lebanese background sort of a Greek thought as well I'll expand on that and the same part will connect up to this which is on page by the way if you have this book that the footnote I was reading was on page 32 right and now I'm gonna to go to the appendix on page 47 and that's uh, it's a table that he has okay this table that he has here and uh, basically asymmetries in life and things and he's got three columns here asymmetries in uh, society uh, where we left off in anti-fragile and anti-fragile is a previous step book that he wrote right so basically he's broken this up into three columns right this column here the leftmost column is people that don't have skin in the game so he titles it no skin in the game the center column is skin in the game and the rightmost column is skin in the game of others or soul in the game right so this book is mainly about skin in the game but he also talks about soul in the game where you put everything on the line right and his definition of this is this no skin in the game i'm going to give you some examples right uh no skin in the game keeps upside transfers downside to others owns a hidden option at someone else's expense so just to let you know who are some of the people he lists as having no skin in the game that means they're not accountable to anything they risk everything without paying the consequences and we'll get into that a little bit okay but since we're talking about ralph nader i want to show you where ralph nader belongs on his scale system that he's established right now where he calls him a saint right so people corporations or entities with no skin in the game uh bureaucrats policy policy wonks right consultants uh Su sufiates large corporations with access to the state corporate executives with suits scientists who play the system theologians and centralized governments uh, journalists who analyze and predict uh, politicians bankers so and these are some examples of people who don't have skin in the game right here are people who have skin in the game uh, citizens merchants businessmen artisans entrepreneurs laboratory and field experimenters uh, government of city states so when you go federal government centralized government huge no skin in the game local communities you know if you want to call them governments but they're more on a local level they're more sort of people getting together deciding to govern themselves right so set localized governments writers speculators have skin in the game right uh activists hedge fund traders he says they have skin in the game and skin in the game of others or souls in the game okay and the first thing he mentions is saints knights warriors 
soldiers, right? And these are people who have soul in the game. They have the skin of other people in the game, right? Or skin in the game for others, of others, right? So that's where he fits Ralph Nader. And, you know, he has a few people he's listed here, you know, prophets, mavericks, Minis minis municipal governments, real writers, real journalists, right? Uh, who take risks to expose themselves to get to the truth and whatnot. Okay, entrepreneurs, um, dissidents, revolutionaries, okay, highest, ah, even only war and death. For so, and one thing he, uh, he mentions here, right, uh, regarding. Uh, people with no skin in the game and regarding people with skin in the game, right? People with skin in the game, he left blank because that really depends on what it is they consider to be skin in the game. People with no skin in the game, this is what he's written in the last row, right? As their reward. Seeks, seeks awards, prizes, honors, ceremonies medals tea with the queen of england membership in academia handshake with obama right these are people who have no skin in the game the people who have skin in the game of others or soul in the game one of them being ralph nader that he mentions as being a saint okay the highest reward right the highest even only award is death for one's ideas or positions socrates jesus saint catherine uh, hypatia joan of arc and he called ralph nader saint and ralph nader would belong in that column okay i know we haven't even gone past the dedication page 